Hey everyone, I'm Alex and this is Abdul and we're with Wilson Amplifiers. And we're gonna be opening up a one of our big boys today, our major commercial systems, the Wilson Pro Enterprise 1300. So let's get started. This is a very large box and so it's likely not gonna be in our way for very long. I probably need some help to unpack it in a reasonable amount of time. So the first box on top is the booster. And the second box is, let's bring this down. Let's put it down, yeah. The accessories that come with the booster. So, that out. Okay, there we go. Yeah, very nice. Let's open that up. You wanna open up the booster one as well? So that's okay. Comes open fairly easily. Let's do the accessories first. Yep. All right. So, out of the way. All this packing stuff keeps keeps everything in here safe. So let's actually move this off the table because there's just a lot in here. Probably be easiest to start with what? Start with the cables. Okay. So right off the bat it comes with two 100 foot cable spools. Great for running long distance of cable. Uh, it's a Wilson 400 grade uh, typical 50 ohm connectors and, and, and male connectors. And it also comes with a lightning surge protector and a two foot jumper cable to attach this to the booster. Um, so with the lightning surge protector, this is gonna go in between your outside antenna and your amplifier. And uh, the only thing that you're gonna need to do is to run your own ground to your bus bar in, the, in your IT closet rack. Um, and then you're gonna use this to attach basically from the antenna to the lightning surge protector. Yeah, and it, we should mention, this kit actually does come with a rack mounted feature. So right. it will actually be, fit really well in an IT closet if that's what you want. So we also have this, this is a indoor antenna. So pretty standard, pretty typical, uh, your 4G dome simple screw on screw off uh, collar uh, great for uh, drop sealing applications it does come with a little collar you basically unscrew that all the way out uh, you'll take the circumference of this uh, of this stem bore that out and run this from the bottom up uh, butt it up against the uh, drop tile and then run this run this thread from the back basically get a sandwich like that so plugged into the booster and attached with that cable. Yep. How about how much coverage does this one antenna provide? So this one is your omnidirectional, 360 degrees of coverage, ideal for about eight to 12 foot ceilings. You can go higher. I don't recommend going anything over 20 feet on this. Uh, you're probably looking on a good day, 50 feet of coverage off of one antenna. Okay. Um, so, I mean, this booster is very, very powerful. We're gonna oh, yeah. get into that. There are, there's a very good chance you're gonna to wanna to buy more than that as far as the antenna goes because you're gonna be wasting a lot of that power. So this, it does come with a directional antenna. Um, it also does have this red arrow that's really prominent. You may be asking yourself, why is that red? What's that bean or what does that signify? Uh, so you wanna make sure that you orient this with the, with the, uh, with the arrow pointed upwards and at the bottom, you'll see that there's two holes. Um, these are what you would consider the weep holes. So nine times out of 10, you'll probably have this mounted exterior. It's gonna rain eventually. You're gonna have moisture buildup. And the purpose for these is so that the water can dissipate from, from these two holes. Yeah. So those are all the accessories that come with the kit. When you buy this kit from us, that's what comes in the box. But the main thing, the real attraction, is the booster itself. As you can see, it comes in its own little box here. So let's get this open. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I got it. I think we can just open it. Here you go. All right. It's got this nice, solid packing foam. You can tell this is where, this is where it all goes. Happens. Yeah. Got this nice little power supply. All right. And I want to emphasize, man, Wilson did a really good job with the packing. I mean, this thing isn't going anywhere. Yeah. Um, really, really 
nice presentation. And for sure. You want to get it out. got some weight. Yeah, get it out of there All and right. I can get this out of your way. Okay. All right. But yeah, the foam is very, very impressive. Okay. So off the bat, you're going to notice this thing is pretty wide. The other thing that you're going to notice is, you're probably asking yourself, why do I have so many different ports on here? Um, so you're, you're going to have your typical inside antenna port, your, your port that you're going to run to your interior domes or panels, whatever you decide you want to run. And then you have three additional ports. Uh, the first port actually covers band 425. The second port covers band 5. And then the third port covers 12 and 13. So AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, and Verizon. Um, so what Wilson likes to refer to these as is MTT technology. This is your multi-tower targeting yeah. technology. Um, really, really great feature when you're really trying to lock in those outside, the outside antennas. Sometimes you have a situation where the towers aren't necessarily in the, in the same area. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to allocate a different port for each. And that's how you're going to maximize your gain on this. And I mean, this thing can take a beating. Yeah. So I mean, also a few other things. So this comes with cloud control. Mm -hmm. So we can, you can remote monitor this over the cloud through the Wilson Pro Cloud, I believe that's what it's called. Right. And it comes with a year subscription, so you don't even have to pay for it. And like we said, when we were talking about these antennas, this is a really powerful system. It'll get what, like 40,000 square feet, maybe more, a little less. I'd say 40,000 is reasonable. Okay, yeah. so, you know, with one antenna, and only one, you're not taking advantage oh, of- Oh, this is complete overkill for one antenna. Yeah, complete overkill for one antenna. And with only one directional antenna, you're not able to take advantage of these features here. So we really recommend, like highly recommend a couple things. First, we definitely recommend upgrading your system at the very minimum, getting some more antennas, installing them with one of these. This is not, this does not come with the kit, but this is a splitter. Now, this is a two-way splitter. Probably want a, what, a four-way splitter? Three easily four-way splitter. Yeah. Easily. I mean, this thing could probably take up to six, six antennas. Yeah. Um, no problem. No problem. So, I mean, the issue is that, you know, with one antenna, you're just kind of wasting all this power. And the truth is, this is such a complicated, powerful system that we really recommend a professional installation. Right. First thing you want to do is once you install this thing, you're definitely going to want to get uh, set up on the Wilson Cloud. The only way to do that, I believe you have to be Wilson Pro certified. Uh, get your login and then really unlock the real features of this thing. Off the bat, I believe it's configured um, uh, a feature where it's called common mode. And that just is, you're only going to be able to use one of these ports. Um, if you want to take advantage of all three ports, you're going to have to log into the system you will have to enable the feature, I believe it's called Bridgeport, and it will allow you to separate each of these bands, channels, to use multiple antennas. So that's the reason why it only comes with one off the bat, if you're wondering. Yeah, so I mean, this is one of those systems that has a ton of ton to offer, ton of features, ton of, of stuff to like make sure that the signal in your building is consistent and reliable and will always work for you. But, you know, it's difficult to set up more so than some of the other ones, it really requires a professional installation. And the kit, frankly, the reason it's kitted with all this stuff, rather than just being sold as a booster, is it's required by law that all signal boosters are sold as complete kits. So we've done so, uh, Wilson Electronics has done so, but, you know, it's not enough. You definitely want more, more antennas than that. Another key thing I just noticed, that this thing has a little red tab, so, a lot of the times when we go to install these things, they're in IT closets and you have a lot of different vendors that go in and out of there running cat cable, doing service calls. And, and sometimes, quite frankly, they may knock the cable power out. So what Wilson has done is that they, they enable the locking features. So once you plug this in, it's basically locked in there. So there's, you no longer have that problem where it's gonna get knocked over by accident. Uh, so really, really good feature. I think I think they've really thought this system through. I mean, they've they've looked at every little small details, and I really can't think of a flaw on this thing. Uh, it's a, it's a really good system for the money. Uh, tons of tons of uh, features on it. 
a uh, lot of usability and it's very friendly. I mean, we love this thing. Yeah. Um, so hopefully this has been helpful for you guys, seeing exactly what you get with just the box. Um, but yeah, let us know what you think and see you soon.